is good boo boo kitties we're gonna jump right into this video so here with the guy's name five four okay nice saying welcome back we're gonna jump right into it this is for those of you who are just starting out in acting and have yourself tape like a pro i feel like these tips can help out the newbies so the first thing you want to do is find yourself a window natural lighting is everything boo boo kitty so get yourself a window open boom you don't want to shoot like this you want to make sure that when you're shooting yourself tape you are facing the window and your camera has its back to the window you also want to make sure that you have no earrings no accessories no watches this goes um the same for modeling when you're taking digitals except i would have i wouldn't have any highlights in my eyes or anything like my inner tear ducts as you see if i was modeling i would keep it very basic but since we're acting this will do not too much very natural everyday daytime look smiles in a bit for y'all kitties also as you can see i changed my top you don't want to wear a white shirt because i feel like it distracts way too much so i just changed into just a very simple spaghetti tee of course you know you make sure you want to smile now when you're doing your self tape i my coaches have taught me to always make sure that you practice with products and you write labels you want to come off as professional as possible when you're doing your self tape you want to make sure that you enunciate every single word and don't be afraid to slow down y'all i'm from new york and i'm saying like <laughs> i can't help how i talk so i have to make sure that when i'm on an audition i clean it up because they look for they want to know that you are able to do so right you want to be able to pronounce every single word um correctly now when you're doing your self tape you want to make sure that when you are doing your commercial you always pass over the product at some point and you also want to make sure that you cheat now if you're doing two products you this is something really good you don't want to shake the product while you're talking forgot to mention that you always want to make sure it's still make sure you cheat make sure that you pass over at some point during the self tape i usually have a little mark um, on my script when I'm memorizing to know when to do my Passover. And then you always want to cheat when you're introducing the second product, do a double cheat. Um, my coaches love that I did this. And as you can see, I was about to pass it over, but you don't want the bottom of your palm showing too much. So I readjusted it. And you never want to hold the bottom of a product. You always want to make sure that it's like this and the Passover is nice and clean. And like I said, you always want to make sure that you make eye contact and smile and just be confident. Now, I could have shot with my little Osmo that I had got long overdue or my um, tripod. But for the sake of those of you who are just starting out, you may not have these things. So as you can see, I'm trying to set up my phone with books. And you, if you see right here, this is you don't want any of this in your frame. You only want a white background. Even this socket, you want to cover it. So as y'all can see, I'm struggling, y'all. I'm struggling, child. And I tried to set it up on some books because I really want to just show you that you can do it with anything. And of course, I'm still too high. So I'm like, okay, let me add some more books. Improvising for you guys, just in case you don't have a tripod. And still not in frame. When you're doing your self tape, you always make sure there's a little bit of space above your head and that you're um, closer to the camera. I got desperate and started putting it on boxes of like my straightener, my blow dryer, my flat iron. And finally, I'm like, okay. So like I said, the socket, you wanna make sure that you cover that. You wanna make sure that you have like a white background. Doesn't have to be white. You don't want anything that's distracting. You want a solid background. I highly recommend a white or cream background, something that uh, is very minimal. So this is what I would personally do. Now you don't wanna be too close. You don't wanna be too far where there's so much space above your head. You want to make sure that there's just teeny, teeny ounce of space here. And because I procrastinated, as you can see, there's a bit of casting shadows in the back. So and of course, I'm going to just polish over my nails because I didn't have time to um, do my nails so that's something else that I would highly recommend you always want to make sure that you pay attention to these small details and also I forgot to add when you're doing a commercial with another person it's called slice of life make sure if you're doing this self tape 
you always make sure that your eye level is as if you're looking at the person but it's just off camera so as here and make sure that you guys like this video make sure that you subscribe i know that i was kind of rambling because i recorded the video edit the video and i'm just talking over the video right now so yes yeah, so i hope you guys like this video i hope these little tips help make sure that you subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you guys in another video bye